Well, howdy do, buckaroos. I am here with the Kirkwood Station India Pale Ale 6365 IBUs. Uh, Kirkwood, Kirkwood Station is a little brew pub uh, in Kirkwood, Missouri. Oh, yeah, hold on. I got something on my glasses here. Just outside. Well, that didn't help at all. <laughs> Just outside of St. Louis, or just you know, just my side of St. Louis, I suppose. Let me show you that beer one more time. I've actually been to the brew pub a couple times. I've done various sampler platters at different times. Um, I've taken their double, their double engine, double IPA home in a growler, and it's awesome. But they just start putting their beers in cans. This is the first one I saw out there, so I wanted to pick it up. It's their India Pale Ale. And I, I may have had it at one time, but I just don't remember, in all honesty. Uh, as you can see, it pours a nice uh, cloudy copper-ish color. It is unfiltered and unpasteurized as keep cold. Which, uh, actually, I, I bought a few in cans, and they all say the same thing, so that may be the can thing. Uh, this seems to be the craft revolution. You know, they all seem to be going to these craft cans. Uh, most seem to be going to these pint four-packs, which I actually like. Even though, I guess you technically get more ounces in the, you know, the 12-pack, the or the, the six-pack of 12-ounce bottles or cans, 72 ounces as opposed to 64. I just enjoy the pint can. I love to use a pint glass, as I have here. Uh, you know, my Imperial pint. This one I happened to get up at the St. Louis Microfest. I just love to be able to pour a full pint and enjoy a full pint at home, so I, I do enjoy the pint can. Uh, this has nice, um, nice aroma. Um, they say on their website, and I don't remember the whole paragraph now, uh, but anyway, uh, they, they call it an American craft IPA, but it, there certainly is a wink and a nod here to traditional uh, British IPAs. Uh, they're not as far out of the box as, as many American craft IPAs are now that are extremely hot forward, uh, that use much paler malts. This one has a little bit something to it. Um, there is some color. Aromas are very piney and citrusy. And the body is, is a little toothier than most coming out these days. And, and I have had this before. Actually, I've had two cans of it. This is my third can. I had the first can because I came home that night and I took a few pictures and I sat and enjoyed it. And then I went to do a video with it last night, and I had some, let's just call them technical difficulties, okay? <laughs> and the, this, the video didn't happen, but anyway. So I thought, well, let me try the video one more time. So I do know what this is going to taste like. It, but it is a fine, fine IPA. Whether, it, I don't know how it'll go in today's market, because... Uh, what seems to be popular these days aren't this type of IPA, but I hope it doesn't get overlooked because it is just crafted beautifully. Like I said, it just feels a little toothier and a tad more complex than most that are out there these days. Um, as far as the flavors... I do get some nice caramel, you know, kind of toffee-like notes early on that give way to the give way to some big citrusy hops, and then I've got I kind of get get some, you know, uh, juniper-like notes in the finish. It's like a nice little peppery pine kind of coming at you. Uh, it's just nice. It's an enjoyable IPA. Is it is it anything new under the sun? Groundbreaking. Probably not, but I think there is something to be said for just doing something well. I think that the emphasis in craft beer these days seems to be going over the top. Every beer has to be over the top. And, and beers that just do what they do, you know, and do it well tend to get overlooked. This is one of those that is just put together damn well, and I hope it doesn't get overlooked. I hope my beer geek friends that can find this will try it and... and when I'm able to do some trades, I'm going to get it in the hands of some friends because it is just a darn fine IPA. And I love places like Kirkwood Station that are one of those, you know, uh, to use their trade metaphors, one of those little brew pubs that could, you know. Uh, they are a relatively small brew pub. Uh, and I'm glad they're starting to put some stuff out in cans. Uh, I've, I've been going there for, uh, well, for a while. I mean, several years ago it was the first time I was there. Um, I may have changed hands that I do not know. 
but their double engine, double FP, is one of the best on the market. It's just fantastic. So I hope it gets out in can so I can share it with some friends. So here you go. I'll show you beer one last time. <laughs> I lost my place. Son of a bitch. Kirkwood Station, India Pale Ale, 6365. Choo choo!